Hey guys, Wister here. Okay, so you've got your heli model named um, gyro set up, your gyro switch set up, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I won't go into that here. I'm concentrating primarily on your three pitch curves and your three throttle curves. Okay, so you've got your normal mode, which is normal hovering and very, very slow um, moving around. You don't want to do any faster than that, and then that sort of stuff in this mode. Uh, and then you're going to move to idle up one, which is sports flying, where you can do, um, you know, quite fast forward flight, um, torque turns, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then idle up two. Um, so if you're not a very experienced pilot and you're just getting used to sports flying, set your idle up two curve exactly the same, pitch and throttle for. The same as your idle up one. If you're actually doing 3D, then you will move to your um, idle up two setting. Uh, so ch have, have a completely different throttle curve for that. I'll show you those in a moment. Okay, so we want to get into the actual setup of the pitch curve. So we're going to hold down the um, scroll down access down button and the select button at the same time, and that gets us into the normal mode. Um, so we want to scroll up or, or down until we find a pitch curve. Okay, this is stunt two. So we'll go to normal, normal mode. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, in normal flight mode, we want to have it set for low, at low stick position. We want it set for um, zero pitch. So you would have set up, you, normally you would have set 50 in, 50 out. So mid stick, basically. Um, so 50 out, 50 in, 50 out um, on your stick. You would have set that and set your blades at um, zero pitch, okay? And then you would have gone and set your maximum range um, and all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to cover that here. I'm just going to cover the actual curves themselves. Okay, so normal pitch curve. You want five degrees, five to six degrees of pitch at mid stick. Okay, so um, you've got your full 10 or 11 at uh, full stick, which I've got that slid, slid over now. So you want that set up at, um, leave that at 100%. So we'll just move over to, so we'll start at the top and come down. So 100% for your point H or your high, your full stick position. Um, and then at the low point, you want to set, so at low stick, you want to set it so you've got zero trim. Uh, zero, zero degrees pitch, okay. So we'll set our first position at low stick for um, fifty percent. Okay, fifty percent for low stick. All right. So we'll move. We'll skip the first one because this will see how it says inactive. That actually will. Um, move up or down if you leave that alone with the midpoint so you mid concentrate on your mid stick point so you want five degrees pitch on there so you put your pitch gauge on and you would move this oops move the this button here so scroll up to in this case in my case it's 75 percent but it may be different because all servos are different um, and ratios are different so make sure you remember that Okay, so I've got 75%, so that's, um, I had 10 degrees pitch at full stick, so I've got 75% at mid stick, which is my 5 degrees, and I've left that 0.3, so 3 quarter stick position, I've left that inactive, and I've also left 0.2 inactive, and it automatically with the DX7, and pretty sure DX8, DX7S, you'll get the same effect. So I've only adjusted the three points and the middle two follow. Okay, so that's a great thing about this, this type of setup. So you don't have to actually set all five positions. So that's your pitch curve for normal flight mode set. Okay, you'll see the normal mode flashing. Now I've got a switch up here that switches the modes on the left at the back and I'll switch it into idle up one and you watch that the normal stops. Okay, so it's not in that mode anymore. So you know if that light's flash, if it's flashing on that particular text, you know that you're in that correct mode on your um, helicopter. So that way you'll know that your pitch on your gauge is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, all right? 
Okay, so we'll move across to the next one, which is stunt mode one or idle up one. Now we want the pitch curve on this to be perfectly linear. Okay, so this is perfect. Here we've got this set perfectly correctly. So we've got um, we've got zero at the low point. We've got 50% at the high at mid mid stick, which is zero uh, pitch, and uh, you've got the high point as 100%. So you've got you've got uh, minus 10 degrees pitch to zero to plus. Okay. So I'll move up to, um, like I said before, if you're running, uh, if you're doing 3D flying, so this mode here, pitch, uh, stunt mode one or idle up one, this is for sports flying. So you're doing torque turns, you're doing, um, you can do rolls, you can do barrel rolls, you can do um, loops, um, loop with rollouts, all that sort of stuff, um, and fast forward speed you can do in this mode. Okay. Now if you want to go to full 3D flying. Uh, for best performance, we, we set up the pitch curve exactly the same. Okay, so you want full travel from uh, low stick, full up, right up to high stick at, in, a, in a linear pitch curve. So you want minus 10 at low stick, or minus 11, whatever you normally fly at, minus 10 to minus 11, right up to, or oh, even minus 13, depending on your, your flying style. Um, so minus 10 to plus 10. So minus 10 and then a linear curve goes all the way up through to plus 10. So mid stick you're always going to have zero. Okay so that's the reason for that is so that when you do roll over and pull down on your on your collective to actually get negative lift when you're upside down you're going to have exactly the same collective control for pitch uh, for, for, for follow flight as you do when it's the right side up. Okay, so there's no funny brain learning skills needed. Right, so so we're going to move on to the thr to the throttle curves. So we'll just I'll start with um, normal mode. Okay, so what I do with normal mode is at zero, sorry, at low stick, I want zero because you want it on super soft start, and you want zero at bottom stick. Okay, so you don't want it to be revving. Okay, so um, the next the next one across. Point one, I, I set for uh, 70. So we're going to scroll that up to 70%. Okay, and the next one across at mid stick, we want 80. Okay, and then the third three quarter stick, we want to leave that inactive because that'll go straight to the midpoint 80, 90. 100. If you had it at 75 here, it would do a mid set for 82.5 or whatever it would be, so or 78.5, whatever it is. So it automatically inactive on 0.3, and, and you automatically mid. It will go mid stick position to the top top calculation. So H is 100%. So on max throttle at, at full. So basically low stick idle, idle position, low stick on your on your throttle. Um, you want zero zero throttle. First position seventy percent. Second position eighty percent. Third position should be inactive, but you can set it for ninety percent if you haven't got a radio that does this. And the high position or full throttle should be a hundred percent. Okay, so that's that's a normal curve, right? Um, that'll give you good lift around point three uh, point two. So half stick up to the high range, it will give you good lift and good RPM. And, and good control. Okay, so we'll move to um, stunt mode one. Stunt mode one, or odd luck one, for throttle curve, we want to set it up like this. Okay, we want to set it up in a V configuration, right? So we want at low stick, we want to have 100%. So we'll flip that up to 100. And notice how the second point's moving with it, so I haven't touched it, so I'm going to jump to the mid stick position, and we want to raise that up to 80%. And notice how the radio is doing all the work for me. Okay, 80% at mid stick, and we'll skip the third one because that's inactive, it'll follow the curve. High stick, 100. So we want 100 at bottom stick, 
mid stick 80 and top 100 okay so you've got when you pull the, the throttle down you're going to have a hundred percent you're going to ma develop maximum lift rpm by pulling down when you're in stunt mode upside down sort of stuff okay now we're going to move on to the throttle curve for stunt mode two now if you're normal if you're if you're just a um, kind of a mid pilot and you're not doing 3D, you're doing a bit of first, um, uh, sorry, a bit of sports, you're doing sports flying only, you're not doing any um, upside down um, inverted hovering, uh, anything like that, then you will, will, what you will do is you'll set your stunt curve and your pitch curve, your pitch and th throttle curves for stunt mode two will be identical to stunt mode one. Okay, so in, in case if you flick that switch that accidentally from from normal mode to stunt or stunt mode to stunt mode two, you're not going to have a major difference. Okay, the biggest difference with stunt mode two when you are doing 3D flying is your throttle curve. Um, the actual pitch curve is exactly the same as stunt mode one. The throttle curve is where the big difference is. So we'll set that up now. Okay, so the throttle curve for stunt mode 2 or idle up 2, low stick is 100%. So full throttle. Skip to the mid stick position, again, full throttle, 100%. And that's how we want that whole throttle curve is 100%. So we've got the low position. 100% throttle. The, the next one is inactive, but if you've got a, a, a radio that wants a, a figure, 100% all the way through, mid stick, 100%, 75, uh, the, the th point 0.4 or, or the third point on this particular radio, you want set up either as inactive or 100% and 100% for high. So that gives you basically, doesn't matter where your throttle is. It's going to give you full RPM, but because your collectors on the same stick as your um, throttle, you're going to get your collective control, so you'll be able to get your pitch change, but the RPM will stay up, right up there, so you won't get a big drop in, in RPM and, and it will feather out, and you end up like washing out your tail and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so that's basically it for your pitch curves and throttle curves. I hope that helps. Um, remember you're going to have to put your pitch gauge on to get your settings fit to, to, to match you. But um, I hope that uh, helps you out guys. Right, Westy over and out.